Hi, let's have a look at the reference point uh, in particularly the offset parameter. So if I just go to create and I'm going to go to reference point and you can see when I place the reference point it's going to be placed on um, the reference plane of, of level one. Okay, so we're just going to place that there. Now if I select my point and I right mouse click and go to its element properties um, as I'd explain in my blog article, you can control how you show the reference plane. Um, generally, when I'm working, I like to show it always. Um, and we'll come back here in a second, but we're going to look at how we can control um, and utilize this offset parameter. So if I OK that and we come in and have a look, you can see now um, the, the, the point itself has got three additional uh, reference planes that we can work with, um, X, X, Y, um, Z, Y, and Z, X. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Set Plane. I'm going to pick one of these work planes and select it, and that's going to be my current working plane. And I can check that by, by going to Show, and you'll see now that we're assured that that's the reference plane that we're working on. If you don't want to see it anymore, just untick the Show Work Plane button there. What I'm going to do is go to Reference Point, and I'm just going to place it. Now, it gives me a warning message because obviously I'm placing a point on top of a point. It doesn't particularly like that. But if I just select it and I'm going to use the icons just to drag it away, obviously because we're still working on the same reference plane um, of that point, I'm going to place another one. I'll get another message and I'll just drag it away. Now this time what I'm going to do is set the work plane here to be this vertical plane and we'll place another point, just drag it away and we'll go back and we'll place another point and we'll drag that, that away as well. Okay, so if I was to actually come to this um, point now and I go to its element properties, instance properties here, you can see that there's an offset value here and in this case it's a negative figure uh, depending on which way you've moved it uh, plus or minus either side of that plane it will be a negative or a positive figure so what we're going to do now is we're going to start to control um, our points a little bit better because at the moment if I just drag them around there's just going to be that offset value between the main point and this one here is just going to vary and flex so that, that's fine but let's look at how we can sort of drag them out together so what we're going to do go to element properties instance properties and we'll look at the um, offset value here um, if I come along here I can click this button and I can actually add um, a parameter if I want so in this case it's an offset and a, a length and we'll call this here um, L1 okay and I'm just going to set it to instance and I'm going to group it under dimensions which is fine we'll okay that and okay that and okay that if I come to this point now, go to Instance Properties, and we'll look at the offset value. I know I can actually sign the same um, parameter again here. So we'll make this one L1. We'll OK that. And in this case, you'll find this one should be a negative one. So that's correct. We'll add another parameter, call this one L2, Instance, and we'll group it under Dimensions. If we OK that and OK that. And then finally we'll select this point and we'll assign that same L2 parameter. Okay. So if I now select this point here, you'll find as I drag this one along, this one should move. Okay. And likewise, if I drag this one here, this one will move because it's the, the varying two um, parameters. So what I'm going to do now is go to Types. And what we're going to do is just tweak this. And we'll we'll say is L1 is obviously that figure and we'll say that L2 is actually negative L1 okay so it should add the negative figure of that there and if we apply that and okay now when I drag one of these points they're all going to move out together okay so that's a, a particularly useful trick if you're wanting to build uh, complex uh, forms using points and you want to use that offset parameter so hopefully that's been useful to you